Sister, I told you in part one that every man is not marriage material. I told you that every brother is not cut out to be a good husband. Yes, he is a good man. And this sometimes is distracting because you met a good man. But just because he's a good man, it does not mean that he will become a good husband. It does not even mean that he's interested in marrying you. Being a good man simply means that he has decent qualities and characteristics that maybe you admire. But being a good man doesn't even guarantee that he would be a good father to his own children. Sister, what I want you to do is understand that most men are only interested in one half of the relationship equation. And by this, I mean most men are only interested in taking you off of the market emotionally, psychologically. Most men want to take you off of the availability list to where you are no longer open to entertaining or surveying any other relationship options. Men accomplish this by giving you these ridiculous titles like borderline, fiancé, whatever that means. He might refer to you as the love of his life. He might call you his wifey or wife-to-be, or he might simply call you his girlfriend or his girl. But he does this to accomplish two objectives. A, it takes you off of the availability list emotionally to where you're not open to entertaining any other relationship options and B it allows him to tell women that he's still interested in or women that he's still seeing that he is not married to you sister what you should pay attention to is if he's the right brother for you then upon meeting you he is ready to satisfy both sides of the equation. By this, I mean not only does he want to take you off of the availability list, he also wants to take himself off of the availability list as well. And he can't wait to tell other women who try to show him attention. He cannot wait to tell them that he is happily married to you. Welcome to Hashtag Relationships, where we are discussing becoming the right woman for the right man if he happens to come along. Now, sister, the first thing that I want to make you aware of is the difference in your language when you are hurt versus the difference in your language when you are healed. When you are still hurting, you fail to use proper relationship language. Instead of saying, I was selfish, or I was stupid, or I was immature, or I was wrong in my previous relationship experiences, you say I'm too independent. Now, I want you to go and find a man who is 100% independent and introduce him to me. He doesn't exist, so why should you buy into such ridiculous rhetoric? I'll tell you why. You like to say that you're too independent as an excuse for why you're single because it's less embarrassing and you feel like it's an empowering statement. But any man who is paying attention knows that this means that there are still many, many flaws that you will not and have not addressed. Sister, when you are healed, you sound different. When you are healed, you are no longer afraid to own up to the reality that we need each other. I need you and you need me. And we understand that it is okay to say that we need each other, but I need you to be at your best in order for me to be at my best. Healing allows us to fully connect. And that's why I'm excited to have you to be a part of hashtag relationships so that we can learn how to better connect to one another. When you are healed, you relinquish, relinquish, excuse me, your focus on who's the strongest out of you 
and me when you are healed. Sister, the right woman focuses on her own ability to receive and offer helpful advice. Her level of maturity is of utmost importance along with her own level of discipline. The right woman is sensitive to whether or not the man that is desiring to be in her life, she's sensitive to whether or not he's healed from the things from his past, uh, either his past as a child growing up or his past experiences, no matter how negative, no matter how hurtful, as a, a young adult, she's sensitive to whether or not he has recovered from those less than positive episodes in his life. The right woman knows that it is in her nature to try to take this broken man and try to nurture him back to strength. But the right woman knows better than this. She knows that it is not in her best interest, sister, to try to restore this brother in exchange for his attention and temporary loyalty to her. She knows that this encounter where she reaches out to him and tries to restore him emotionally, spiritually, and sometimes even financially does not mean that he is hers to keep. The right woman puts down her first aid kit, my dear sister. She puts down the first aid kit and she stops making excuses for why she's in the wrong relationship. The right woman, she knows that self-respect looks much better on her than cussing and fussing and fighting with the man that she is not even married to or a man that will not ever marry her. She knows that class and dignity looks a lot better on her. Becoming the right woman, my dear wonderful sister, means that you will stop sedating yourself with multiple temporary relationships and multiple temporary men coming in and out of your life. This is what the healing will allow you to stop doing. Becoming the right woman has nothing to do with how hard you love. It has nothing to do with how well you make love. It has everything to do with how well you make the difficult decisions, no matter how hard it is for you to make those decisions. As the right woman, you can make those decisions right away. Guys, I am only here to help. I want for you what I want for myself. I want you to stop hurting and I want you to let the healing process go ahead and and, and begin right away. I want you to be happy. I want for you guys to be healthy. I want you to live a life of longevity and one of fulfillment. But above all these things combined, it is my prayer that you receive all of the blessings that are coming your way. I hope this information has been helpful to you. I am looking forward to your response. And as always, my name is Jay Jackson.